Welcome food lovers to Neri's Kitchen. On today's episode, we'll be featuring simple food prep that is nutritious and delicious. We'll be making a curry scramble, beef tacos, and a protein iced coffee. While meal prepping can be time consuming, finding what works for you can contribute to a better understanding of what healthy eating looks like. Flavor bombs such as curry or common dishes like tacos can be enjoyable, all the while being good for you. Even iced coffee can be something you don't have to sacrifice. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started on our beef tacos. I had some extra beef lying around, so I figured why not just have tacos, right? Because who doesn't like tacos? Jerome, do you like tacos? I like tacos. <laughs> and you know what? My kids actually really enjoy this too. So um, when I cook this, I always have it, I just use extra lean ground beef, but of course you can use any beef that you have lying around. Okay, we just gotta wait till this gets hot. It's induction, so it gets hot really fast, but I want it super, super hot. How are you today, Jerome? Good, good. Oh, and happy birthday. Oh. If you guys didn't know, it was Jerome's birthday yesterday. Thank you very much, everybody, for those uh, big birthday messages and greetings. So how old did you turn, Jerome? I turned the oldest I can be. <laughs> Just joking. 39. You turned 39? 39. 39. Wow. 39. We're, we're old. You're not old, Jerome. <laughs> 39's not old. Age is just a number, right? It is. Okay. So we'll just wait for this beef to cook. So the ingredients that I have for the tacos, it's really simple. It's just, um, I have some low fat cheese here. I have some chopped tomatoes. You can also put in a jalapeno if you'd like, but my kids don't like spicy, so I won't be adding that, but I just wanted to show it in case you guys want to add that. You can use shredded lettuce, but I didn't have lettuce, so I'm just using some shredded kale salad, and then some cilantro and green onions as well. Then I have, of course, my taco shells, but if you don't have taco shells or if you don't want to use taco shells, you can always use like um, a flat out wrap or something that's like really high protein, but I couldn't find it in the store for some reason, so this is just as good. Okay. Oh, hi, Kai. Look, Kai hi. wants to join me. Hello. <laughs> Oh, just snuck up on me there. Okay, so let's get this started. While this is cooking, I want to show you guys my curry scramble. Okay, and curry scramble, it's really just a scrambled egg, but you know how eggs can be so boring? Some people, they just can't stomach it because it's so plain. So we're going to add curry to ours, just to add a flavor boost. And I don't know if you guys know this, but curry actually has quite a few benefits. Do you know any benefits of curry, Drew? Um, no. Okay, well, curry is an anti-inflammatory. Whoa. Yeah. Fights against cancer. Wow. Uh, what else? Um... All these other wonderful things. You know, let's check. Let's check. Okay, it's good for. It helps you with cancer. It's an anti-inflammatory. I'm pretty sure it helps speeds your metabolism. But let's just see what the internet says about curry. Oh, it says it boosts your bone, aids in digestion, it helps with battling bacteria, and it combats Alzheimer's disease. So, some pretty surprising benefits of curry. Okay. So for the curry scramble, it's pretty basic. Just have two eggs. Oh, you know what? I should probably scramble this first. Let's do that. Okay, so two eggs. Extra large. And then um, you wanna have two tablespoons of milk. So I'll just add that in the bowl. And then salt. What else here? Salt and pepper to taste. <laughs> and then I'm using my curry powder that I actually got from Bindi's restaurants. You can you can find curry powder at any superstore, any grocery store, but 
I got mine at Bindi's, and she's located Bindi. at the Forks. Yeah, yeah Bindi's. Welcome. I've actually used quite a bit. My container's almost done. Yeah. It's actually a really good curry. Yeah. Okay, so I just need a fork here. Scramble that. Yes, Kai. <laughs> Do you put curry in your eggs, Jerome? No. No? I haven't tried. So you know what? I, I, I will. You will? I think the secret to making good scrambled eggs is actually to have your heat pretty low, right? Yeah, I think that's the secret. That's mm. what um, George George Ramsey does, or that's what he says in Master Chef. I actually don't watch it very often, but okay. There we go. Okay, you want to see two Kai? Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is what I mean by multitasking. You have to learn how to do things with both hands. Let's use, oh, I don't have any spatulas. Um, okay, we'll use this big one. I use my little Pampered Chef one for this one. Let's cook the beef. And then this, I think you're, okay, I don't really know how to make scrambled eggs <laughs> properly. Mm -hmm. I think you're supposed to keep scrambling it, like keep touching it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys know how to make proper scrambled eggs, let me know. I always just kind of toss it gently over low heat. Because you don't want it too cooked, right? You don't want it to be all rubbery. And I know you still want it like really buttery. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. But I'm not a trained chef, I'm just a home cook. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna, great. Look at that. You know, I'm gonna turn off the heat now yeah, because your pan is still pretty hot, right? And you don't want to overcook this. Yeah, I think that looks, there we go, that looks good now. So I'm just gonna plate this on a nice plate here. This is enough eggs for one person. Now, of course, you could always um, double the batch if you want to cook it for another day or so. Thank you, Jerome. You're My husband's not here. I don't know where he is. Do you know where he is, Jerome? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think he's at the gym. Yeah. yeah. Where else would he be, right? Yes. Okay. So these are two eggs. That's enough for one person. You can always serve this with tomatoes if you'd like. Or you could serve it with some rice, or you could serve it with spinach, doesn't really matter, but, or you can serve it with bread. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put this over here. So that's number one. And this is, okay, let's go work on our beef still. So I don't, I always drain my um, my beef. Do you drain yours? Um, yes, I do. You do? Yeah, we do. So we boil it and then we drain it. So when I was with water. oh with water yeah. like you wash it with me yeah. when I was um, dieting like really heavily dieting I would actually put it in the strainer and then I would rinse it with cold water too oh just to get off oh, the yeah. extra extra yeah. fat yeah. or yeah, yeah. Oh, but then RJ doesn't like it like that so if I'm cooking for the entire family. I won't do that, but if I'm cooking just for myself, I'll actually wash it. So I'm just going to strain this. So let's get my pans out. Oh, okay, let's... Okay, hang on. Let's put this over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. Let's strain that. Whoa. Whoa! So I'm not going to wash it because I know that, Jerome, you probably don't want me to wash it, right? No. No. <laughs> yeah, there's actually lots of flavor in the fat. So because we're not dieting, 
You know, and look, look at all that fat. Yeah, it's too much. Right? That's too much. You don't want that in your body. Yeah. Okay, so let's bring this over here again. Then let's cook the moisture off. And so with this fat, you never, ever want to dump it into the sink. Wow. It can clog your pipes. Wow. I mean, you can always wow. use Drano to unclog it, but you, it's so much work. It's better just to put it in a separate container, let it firm up, and then you just throw it out like that. Okay, so we're going to add some seasonings. Oh, no, not this. Excuse yeah. me, Jerome. Not seasoning salt. I want to add taco seasoning. Where's my taco seasoning? Uh, hang on here. I have so many things, you guys. But in the meantime. But in the meantime. I'll be cooking the beef. Yes, Jerome. All right. <laughs> I'm holding a kid on my hip. <laughs> okay. I'm holding a camera and cooking at the same time. Yes. I'm talking to the audience at the same time. <laughs> so audience. Okay, guys... audience, I actually don't have any taco seasoning. Why not? I don't know. But you know what? It's not very difficult to um, to make taco seasoning. It's really just curry powder. Yeah. You can add some cumin. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. If you guys didn't know. So, okay. Just a second here. Okay, so we're going to make our own taco seasoning. So it's just a little bit of garlic. And I'm just eyeballing this. You know, adjust to how you guys like it. So that's one. Then you want to add some cumin. Oh, it's garlic now. Oh, garlic's good for you though. Mm -hmm. Garlic's good for inflammation. So that's cumin. The other spice is chili. Now, if you guys make your own taco seasoning, I'd like it's to know. Milk. I'd like to know. No, it doesn't melt. It's pepper it chat. No. Is it? It's, oh wow! It's plastic. Plastic, yeah. So if you guys make your own taco seasoning, let me know what you guys put in there because everyone's different, right? Look at that, guys. Okay, then we'll add some salt. Okay. Oh, you know what? We need to add some chili peppers too. Just a wow. little bit of a kick, yeah. Chili peppers, yeah. Well, flakes, yeah. Just a little bit. More. More? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay. I told you I don't add too much for the kids, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Here, let me. I'll do this. Thank you, Jerome. Okay. Let's stir this up. I guess I could have used a bigger spatula, but you know, I like using little stuff. Yeah. It's cute. Okay. That looks good. All right. What do you think? Do we think it's seasoned well, Jerome, or should I add more? You have to taste it. Okay, let's taste it. Oh my god. Good already? That's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, all I added was just curry, not curry, cumin, chili, salt, pepper, and garlic. But you know what? I'm just going to add a little bit more, just a little bit more chili powder. I want it to look a little bit more red, right? Mm. That's all part of it. It has to look like taco beef. Mm. Okay, add a little bit more. Nice. There we go. I think that was, if you want to know exact measurements, it was probably, I would say a tablespoon and a half. And this is about two pounds of ground beef that I'm using also. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's turn this off. Let's get our plates ready, Jerome. Okay, so this is enough for two two tacos. Well, I'm only going to fill two tacos. I mean. Do you ever eat these taco shells, Jerome? Um, yes, I do. I, I like I like using those. I put a lot of cheese out there. Of course, you need put the cheese. <laughs> oh, you put in the microwave? Yeah. So the cheese will melt. Wait, so you cook this and then you put it in the microwave after. Never thought of that. 
Okay, let's make three. A serving is two of these, but we'll make three just so it looks fuller. Now, how do you assemble yours? Just out of curiosity. Just, uh, you know, put, the, put everything in there, which is uh, lettuce. You have to put lettuce, lettuce, right? Lettuce, yeah. Lettuce salad, tomatoes, and the beef, and the cheese. Well, what I like about this is that you can cook the beef, right? And then you can just save the beef for the next day, and then you can have it for lunch the next day, right? Mm -hmm. And then you could just look, put these in a little container and bring it to lunch. It's so easy. And that's why this works for us. So I'll just add some beef there, some more beef. You can also add this into my fitness pal. I think a serving probably want what's a good serving. I'll tell you, it's actually on my phone. I didn't actually measure it, but I can tell you exactly what a serving would be. A serving is two and a half ounces. Two and a half ounces of cooked ground beef. So we just added our beef there. And then we'll add, um, what else? Let's add some shredded. We need some greens too to make it healthy, right? Absolutely. And then we'll add some tomato, then some cilantro, and then your cheese. There we go. And then Jerome, we'll put this in the microwave later, right? <laughs> that's, that's right. Melt the cheese. <laughs> melt the cheese. But don't you think it's going to melt already? No. No? You still need to melt the cheese? Yeah. Okay. I like these because it's cute and then you stop at three, right? Yeah. If you have a bigger wrap and then you're more likely to, to eat more food. And then what we do is we always serve this with a side salad after, just so that you have some substance too. And then there's, there's the cheese. Okay, and then let's make one more. What do they serve in the restaurants? I think they give you, is it two or three? They give you three? You know, I haven't been to a restaurant in so long. I don't even know anymore. And plus, we just finished the belly burn challenge, so I guess I could go, but, you know, I think I find more enjoyment making food at home. Mm -hmm. And plus, all the money that you're saving, it's just like, I, we always think, can we make it at home, or should we go out, out and buy it? Okay, okay nice. there we go. So that is lunch or dinner. Okay. And then serve that with the side salad. This was breakfast, which is our curry scramble. And then you can serve that with, like I said, bread or um, tomatoes, whatever you'd like. And now we're going to make iced coffee. Let's go. It's actually pretty easy to make. Mm -hmm. So what we do is, thank God for my Keurig. You know, I'm going to put this in a mug instead, just a sec. So you need two cups of coffee. We'll just have to wait for this. And then while we're waiting for that, excuse me, we're actually going to use protein powder instead of cream, just to get more calories in and also get that Pro Pro because you have to have the Pro Pro. So we're going to use one scoop of vanilla. Of course, you don't have to use vanilla. You could use chocolate or oh, chocolate or caramel or whatever you have on hand. But we like the vanilla. I've actually seen some people add some butter in theirs. It adds a nice creamy texture. But make sure you track into your MyFitnessPal if you're using butter. Today we won't be. What's that? Nothing. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, it smells so good. Tell everybody the recipes are in the comment section. Also, if you guys need the recipe, the recipe will be in the comment section. Okay, so that's one cup of coffee. Okay, we'll just pour it in like that. And then we need another cup of coffee. <laughs> but you know, let's make two cups, yep. Yeah. But we're going to use the small one. 
Yeah, we're gonna use the small one. There we go. And then I need some ice too. So let's get some ice. I don't know, like a cup of ice or something. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, you don't want it too watery. Just wait for that and then I'll put this in here. You know, I don't even know how to make coffee with the grounds, do you? Well, I mean, no. I tried, you gotta remember, like, how strong you are, right? I tried making it before, and it just, it didn't turn out very good. And it's like, I, I need the machine. I'm okay. Used to that. Precise. And you know what? With the... With the coffee machine, right? You, mm -hmm. I only know how to make it for one person, and it's just such a big pot. Okay. Let's check it out. Okay, it's all blended. So this is your iced coffee. Now we need some taro. Some taro bubble tea? No. Well, you could, but just make sure that you, you track it. Here? What's up? I just said you want some. We do have some taro bubble tea. Oh, you know what? It's actually, okay, so we were talking about this last week. Yeah. It's actually, um, there's a shortage of the taro bubble tea. Okay, so this would be our protein iced coffee. And there you guys have it. All of this is roughly, I believe, 1,200 calories. And again, if you guys need the recipe, it is located in the comments below. So just to recap, this is our curry scramble our protein iced coffee, which is so big, but it looks, I can finish this all. And then for dinner, we have our beef tacos. And all this is about 1200 calories. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye now.